Uh, okay, so uh, prob today's problem is the alternator is um, only alternating when it wants to. So you turn it on, it'll kick up to 14 point whatever volts. Um, and then uh, it'll run like that for five, 10 minutes and then the battery light um, starts flicking on and off. So that to me um, indicates that the alternator is still functioning. Um, but I suspect we're just talking about a problem with um, a connection or, or some, perhaps even the regulator. So uh, what I'm going to do is the same thing I do every time bef before replacing parts or anything. I'm just going to pull it, pull it all apart, check all the connections, clean it all up, put it back together, see if that doesn't fix the problem. If it does, all good and well. If it doesn't, buy a new alternator. Here we go. exercise but so of course the um, alternator voltage regulator um, went bad um, one was parasitically draining the battery and two was not regulating the voltage so, um, of course there's two parts to the alternator there's the the stator and the um, the, the copper winding and they need to be um, kept separate because um, otherwise it short circuits the motherfucker um, and no voltage will be produced and um, the, 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 the system will be overloaded. So um, I put in a new um, voltage regulator heat. Now what I think has happened and I'm about to pull the alternator to, to, to test that theory is the plastic isolator that wraps around the positive post has melted um, and, and put the positive part of the alternator in contact with the negative part of the alternator thus short circuit circuiting it blowing um, the the fusible link um, and and leading to the situation I have now where um, it's producing no power uh, so that's what I'm assumed happened so I'm going to pull the alternator now um, have a look at the the isolation components um, rectify that whack him back in um, with the new uh, voltage regulator and see if we can't get uh, 14.3 volts headed to the battery So what I forgot was this this little clear plastic thing here, so this is a uh, That's obviously part of the positive um, Circuit and it being in contact with that um, this being part of the ground um, has has um, short-circuited the whole alternator um, Cause that to to arc there, and that's uh, what it's was causing my zero output condition. So I shall go ahead and put this together now, ensuring to continuity test the whole way through, and uh, should be good to go.
positive post. Now, if this arcs like a motherfucker, we know we have a short circuit. Wow! I feel good. Fine, that's, that's just what we're after. See, when I tried this before, when it was short circuited, I don't mind telling you, it arced that, it arced metal off that post as you can see, which is not what you want, but we're here and nothing's blowing there, so all right. Now we're gonna try and turn it over and see if we ain't got some goddamn positive voltage. Settle down. Huh. So I'll tell you about that in a sec. Fuck, that was something. All right, let's do some measuring here. I'll tell you, ladies and gents, one thing I don't, I do love about this having an old piece of shit car is fucking fixing it, right? Now, I don't have a lot of time to do it these days, but I've just done learning me how to fix an alternator on it. Pretty fucking sharp. About what voltage regulators did on an alternator, or, or, or really the circuit of an alternator, or how they worked, and... I mean, all I do to... Like, I'm no expert, you know, all I do to fix things up is... Basically, I pull things apart without any experience whatsoever in them, um, clean them, uh, and unless there's any obvious damage, I just put it back together and send it home, and quite often that fixes the problem. Um, you know, things things need maintenance. They get gummed up, and and here you go. So I'm gonna I'm gonna shut this car off. She's good to go again. Motherfucker needs a bit of a clean um, And of course like for, for some reason the aircon wasn't working before Fucking is now and then the power windows weren't working either and I've just replaced that relay I don't even know if I, I did need to replace the relay, but There you go. We're good to go again. She's back happy I might also ground that voltage sensitive relay out so I can get positive voltage out to the battery properly um, and yeah 